Ah, floors, humanity's greatest ally. You help us keep us dry and allow us to trample on you without ever fighting back. In today's video, we'll celebrate floors and we'll go over some pros and cons with sleeping on the floor versus sleeping on the bed while adapting to a polyphasic schedule. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So, what's so bad about sleeping on beds? Well, during your whole monophasic life, uh, your bed has been associated with sleeping 8 hours straight without any interruptions. Therefore, sleeping in a bed will make it much easier for you to oversleep. If you haven't seen it, we've made a video on oversleeping in the past that I suggest you watch after this one so that you get some more context of what I'm talking about. Uh, the link to it will be in the description below. But anyways, sleeping in a bed will make it so much easier for you to oversleep, especially during the, during the harder parts of the adaptation. Actually, even looking at your bed can be a telling sign that you're going to oversleep because you're psyching yourself, you're giving in to the wishes. It's very easy for you to oversleep when you get these self-pity emotions, so you definitely want to avoid them. So because it's very easy for you to actually change your sleeping position, many people in the community have gone the extra mile to help themselves combat the wishes of the sleep deprived bodies. So they've actually thrown away their beds and just sleep on the floor instead. And let's discuss that a bit deeper. So floors are pretty uncomfortable to lie on, but you can use that to your advantage. When you are waking up from a rough core and just want to sleep a few more minutes, you'll find that it's actually much easier to uh, not sleep in when you're sleeping on the floor, because <laughs> it's really not comfortable. So that's a big plus. But what are the negative aspects of sleeping on the floor? Well, the list is quite much bigger than the positive list. Um, first, you can become very cold when you're sleeping on the floor and that can make it very hard for you to fall asleep. So luckily that's fixable by you just putting on some more clothes or laying a blanket before you go to sleep so that you stay warm. Uh, you can also use a carpet and we'll talk about that a bit more later what to do then. Um, another negative thing that can happen when you sleep on the floor is if you have a partner. Uh, if you have a partner, you're not going to be able to sleep next to them and that can really tamper with your relationship. So because of that, I suggest that you spend some more time waking up together or after you've successfully adapted, you can also, you know, cuddle a bit more. Um, adapted polyphase schedules are very resistant to oversleeping, so it should be fine after you've adapted, but don't do it during your adaptation. Another factor that many ignore is that you use your floors for walking. This means that they are, well, pretty dirty. So again, if you lie on a softer surface, like uh, a carpet, you want to put some extra effort into cleaning that regularly. You know, clean your carpet if you're sleeping on the floor, you want to mop your floor, you want to mop your floor even if you're sleeping on the carpet, uh, you might want to lay another uh, comfortable surface on top of the floor, not too comfortable though, like a blanket or you know something to lay, lie on that you can wash regularly so that you don't get sick. You don't want to get sick during your adaptations and we've actually made a video on how to combat sickness during polyphasic adaptations and we've also made another video on how to combat sickness after you adapted to polyphasic schedule and both of these videos will be linked in the description so be sure that you check them out. Okay, so the summary of the negative aspects is that each of them are overcomable as long as you are properly dressed, uh, clean regularly and hang out with your partner at other times than during the night. This seems manageable. So should you start sleeping on the floor instead of sleeping on the bed? Definitely. In the beginning, it might be harder for you to actually fall asleep when you're sleeping on the floor because your body is not used to being on a rough surface, but after a while it, you will get used to it and it will be pretty easy to fall asleep. Um, sleeping on the floor will also make it easier for you to sleep outside your home uh, because you will already be used to sleeping at a different surface than your bed. I hope that you learned something new today 
and I wish you luck for it, your future adaptations. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss when we release similar videos in the future. Also, like this video if you liked it so that we get the information about you liking the video, okay? Remember to have pleasant naps, people!